Welcome to the Average Guys Restoration Blog, and this is Project Leak Leak. Uh, I was going to take Beep Beep to a car show this morning. It's early Saturday morning. Got about two miles down the road. It's cold in Tucson this morning. Turn the heater on, and if the camera can look at the windshield here, that's antifreeze vapor. So the heater core started leaking. Uh, I'm assuming it's original. And I kind of got jinxed. There's a gentleman on YouTube uh, has a lot of Mopars. I, I watch his channel uh, every time there's an update. And on Friday, I watched that he replaced the heater core in his Dodge Dart. And uh, I think he jinxed me. So that's what I'll be doing today. Although I won't replace this heater core. If it's original, I'm going to remove it and send it to Glen Ray Radiator for a rebuild. Uh, the Chinesium heater cores, from what I understand, the tubes, the pipes to the uh, heater hoses are not long enough. And uh, we want to we want to repair an original part. If it lasted 50 years, uh, hopefully a repair will last another 10 or 20. So what's the plan for today is to drain the antifreeze, get the heater box out of the car, and then I'm just going to jump the heater hoses over to the water pump so I can still drive the car. Okay, the heater box is out. Uh, I had to manhandle it, you know, uh, hindsight being 2020, this is a two-man job. When I put it back in, uh, I'm gonna get a help. Uh, maybe, maybe I can get Sean or Ryan at work to give me a hand just to get it back in. It's out. <laughs> and I'm fairly certain this has never been out of the car. I haven't dusted it off or anything, but you can see right there, Okay, Chrysler Corporation. I'll wipe it off and see if it's got a date on it. Uh, let's look down in there. Yep, see the antifreeze? Yeah, she's been leaking. So, Detroit Muscle Technology has new seals, new seals for the vent doors. We will rebuild this heater box, but let's get the core out so I can get it shipped off uh, on Monday. Okay. There's a 50-year heater core, and from the looks of it, it's been leaking for quite some time. Uh, it is original. The heater box doesn't look too bad. We will vacuum that out. Uh, Detroit Muscle Technology has a seal kit to rebuild this heater box. I'm going to get that on order. But uh, a couple of things about the Chinesium replacement uh, heater cores. For one, these pipes aren't long enough, and people have all kinds of problems getting the heater hoses back on. And two, uh, this is a nice copper original unit. Uh, the replacements are, are aluminum alloy, and I hear they don't last as long. As I was saying, I want the car drivable. Get the car drivable. I did the old O'Reilly's uh, heater hose bypass trick there, or heater core bypass. Uh, very temporary. I want to keep Beep Beep mobile. It could be several weeks before I get my heater core back. So once I get the heater core cleaned up and boxed uh, and ready to go to Glen Ray, I'll, uh, I'm going to put the heater box aside for now, get the interior back together, get a, things wired up so I can spin the car around. We'll update you uh, when we get the new core.